All right. Um, in this problem, um, there's one thing I want you guys to understand that we're going to be discussing with this problem. And the main thing we want to look back is uh, to at, at PEMDAS. All right. Remember, PEMDAS uh, represents, P represents parentheses, but really what it represents is grouping symbols. And grouping symbols can be defined as parentheses. They can also be defined as parentheses. All right. There's just a way for us to group terms. Now, what order of operation tells us is inside your parentheses, that's what we want to simplify first. Well, we always want to look from the inner outer. So we have brackets, which is like parentheses. But do we have more parentheses inside the brackets? Yes. yes. So then we go inside this parenthesis right here. And we say, can I simplify anything inside those parentheses? And the answer is obviously no, because those are not like terms, right? 3x you cannot subtract, or 1 you cannot subtract from 3x, they're not like terms. So then I just start slowly expanding out. I can't combine these. Uh, obviously, I can't do multiplication, division, add, subtract, whatever else. So then I go out. Am I multiplying this parenthesis times any number? Yeah, I'm multiplying it by a negative 1. So that's going to be my first operation. All right, and I'm simply going to rewrite the whole problem over again because I'm going to show you guys step by step. Because I see so many students make their mistakes because they try to skip steps, and that's where they make their mistake. So all I did in step number one for Tansy is I multiplied by a negative one times this parenthesis. I really don't know why that's more important right now than what we're talking about. What? OK. Well, why aren't you writing this down? OK. Um, just make sure you have everything down, OK? So now we go back to following the order of operations. You have inside your parentheses. Can we simplify anything inside these parentheses? Do we have any like terms we can simplify? Yeah, yeah we have the 2 and the 1, right? So now I'll rewrite this as 5 plus 4. 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 3x. Can I combine them anymore? No. Yeah. Now, so I go to the outside. Is there anything being multiplied by them? Yes, I multiply it down by the 4. So it's like a step-by-step -step process. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times negative 3 is a negative 12x. Now, can I do addition and subtraction from left to right or anything I can combine? Yes. Where? where which step? This one? Yeah. No. This is 2 minus this parenthesis. So it's negative 1 times both of those. Um, then I can combine 5 plus 12 is going to be 17 minus 12x. And that's it. <laughs>